Hey guys, welcome to my channel, hope you're doing well. So it feels like it's been a while, but it's only been a few days um, since I've done a reading. So I'd like to thank everyone who uh, reported that uh, fake tarot reader who was using the audio in my videos. Um, so every time they post, I get a notification. So uh, just to get keep, uh, keep the ones updated that have uh, been reporting, thank you, because it's been about four or five weeks since I found out <clears throat> that they were doing this. Um, so they've removed my videos and they've got three videos up of somebody else now. So they're relentless, okay? So they're not using my audio anymore. So if you do happen to recognize who the other tarot reader's voice that they're using, if you could let her know, she sounds like an American woman. Um, I don't think I know that, I don't really know a lot of, um, I'm not familiar with, I, I just wouldn't know who that is. So if you do happen to know who that is, um, you don't have to, but you know, it's, it's when someone told me, I was so um, appreciative that somebody was used, like somebody told me that, because I would never have known. Um, so if you do ha happen to know who that uh, woman is in the videos, the voice, if you can let her know, if you do know, if you do know, that's, that's great. If you can let her know, <coughs> um, email her, but I just don't know, but thank you, she's taken, like she's got three videos up now so she's removed all my videos her name is lucy wilson's tarot she probably will change her name again just to let you know thank you guys thank you i really appreciate that because it's just i don't appreciate it you know a lot of youtubers experience stuff like this scammers and it's one of those things it's, anyways um all right so enough mumbling all right so let's get into your reading for today guys Let's get into your reading today. I'm going to do, gen I'll do like a short general, short career, like money, career and love, okay? All right, so Taurus, what could you tell me about Taurus today, please? 365, all day, every day. That's what I just got, all day, every day. 365 days in a year, all day, every day. What is this? You have an opportunity for increased abundance Abundance at this time. Your angels are encouraging you to reconnect with your divine worth. Okay, Don't, no settling, no settling. Some of you guys, it's about grafting. It's about you grafting, but make sure you're grafting for something that's actually going to um, help you long term, okay? Not to fulfill somebody else's dreams or passions, all right? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll do three today. Uh, 520, your connection to God is stronger than ever. Welcome home to love. And the last one is 838, your current experiences are echoes of past lives and past experiences in this lifetime. Interesting. Open up your awareness so that you can understand the messages and the patterns or wounds that can be healed at this time. Okay, all right, so I'll leave that and put this away. I'll use this deck. Okay, so we'll just do short, won't stay too long on the general, maybe a couple minutes. So what could you tell me generally for uh, Taurus, please? What's happening generally in their life? Intuition is getting stronger. Some of you guys, this. Now's not a time to doubt yourself, okay? I got the High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles, and the Strength, okay? Is there like an internal battle with something? with a situation with a person that you're dealing with in your life right now. It's almost like knowing that you have to shut something out, leave something out, and it's really taking you a whole lot, okay? For some of you guys, this is temporary. Maybe you're letting something cool down. Maybe you had an argument with somebody and you let it something just, you know, like um, calm before you approach this person. But I feel like some of you guys intuitively know that you need to leave something out or let go of something, something that's either... Um, keeping you in a poverty state or it's something that really um, it really messes with your intuition or this person does 
or it's not or it's not um, something to do with that. But it's almost like that the strength there. It makes you think of ego. So we've got the high priestess there. And I'll just see that as a higher self. I'll see it as a higher self right now. But then we've got the ego here. And in the middle is the five of pentacles. It feels like, what is this over? The queen of cups, something, someone that you love. It could be about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Is your love of something called someone? Tell me more, please. The knight of cups. Someone that you may have dated. It could also be a... a, a, a Another water sign, a younger one. Seven of swords, okay. You know this person to be, let's just say, if they want, if they want to get something out of the situation, they'll make it happen. So let's just pull it, uh, you know, they'll manipulate the situation to get what they want. And you see this, and this could be something that you care about. It doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be like, you know, your kids, you know, you know what kids are like, you know, it's not just kids, it's at everyone, but like kids could be that way as well if they want something from you and they could be using the love that you have them as an advantage. What I will say, I don't know, this feels like you're being, you're trying to be firm about a decision that you've made. I'm not sure if you've actually spoken on this, or if it's just your actions, how you're coming across, your energy, not overly doing as much, not overly maybe giving financial help or something like that. But it feels like you're trying to restrict certain resources that you have or certain emotions that you have to keep the peace within yourself, actually. Tell me more, please. The Eight of Swords. You know this person's, they're stuck. And, oh, you've tried to help somebody. You've tried to help somebody, whether it be like your words, your energy, your time, your money. You've tried to help somebody that's stuck and that it probably causes, does things, sneaky things, lies, cheats, and they keep, they keep themselves stuck, bound to certain things. Somebody could have an addiction as well or someone's not able to see because of what they're doing. It's, somewhat, it's like a, I'm getting like a false, um, someone's not being their true authentic self. Somebody around you is not being their true authentic self and you can see through that and you could be trying to help them. But at the same time, you're like, I've been doing as much as I can do and now it's draining me, so I'm going to back up. So you may have to leave this person out in a cold. Or, I'm not saying you've completely... Some of you guys, yes, you've completely checked this person out. Some of you guys, you're like, I can't be there as much. I'm here. I love, it's like loving you from a distance kind of thing. This is what this feels like. OK. And I'm here I'm hearing if only you could see what I could see, if only you could see what I could see. But, you know, this person can't. So I'm there's some kind of distortion that they deal with, uh, possibly delusion as well. OK. But I, I am getting something where somebody has an even addictive personality um, or somebody refuses. They could be the kind of person that um, continues to complain about a, the, um, the same things over and over again and does nothing different to change that. And you may have showed them. But it's like they keep on repeating the cycle. It feels this feels a bit hellish, actually, actually. that feels a bit hellish like going over it, repeating over and over again, like you know what to do, you've actually mentioned the problem, but you're not taking the right steps, maybe because you feel guilty or maybe because you feel like you're abandoning someone, not, not you yourself, but you're saying this to this person. Somebody could be saying this to you, but I'm getting more sort of energy around you, okay? It's like, listen to what you said and the answer is there. The answer and what you need to do is in what you've just said. OK. I'm sure that will make sense. I'm sure that I'm sure you guys will make sense of that. The pa you, This is you, Page of Pentacles. So you try to have patience. You know, you when this person has told you, you kind of listen, you listen, you, you take your time with them and you've been patient, understanding. But there's only so much you can do before it starts to really affect you as well. OK. All right. Last mess. Last card. The sun. You want this person to be happy. That's why you've been patient with them. That's why you've been... Um, for some of you guys, it could be a child or a younger person. 
Um, if not, it could just be somebody who does the same thing over and over again that they've been doing for a very long time. A very long time. They have not grown yet. They've, they're stuck in a certain cycle, a certain stage, stage in their life. And that, I'll be real with you, that normally tends to come from trauma. Could be PTSD as well. I'm not a doctor or a professional. I'm just saying uh, things that I understand to be, okay? I did study psychology. I love psychology. Uh, I didn't finish it. I, I chose this as my path, but those things I did learn has helped me and with myself also. So <clears throat> if, you, if you experience this, it's very likely, I feel like you guys understand that it's not personal to you and you know it's because of this person's, uh, their, their, their issues that they deal with. It's, I personally, what I'm picking up, I feel like this is either a thing of trauma, P when PTSD, the trauma goes hand in hand as well, but it feels like something tra um, that's traumatised them and they they keep on repeating that same emotion or that same um that way of reacting, responding, and that's what's kept them stuck. And if you find, Taurus, that I could be speaking about something that you're experiencing as well, it's time to go about things differently. Like the unknown is scary, but I'm sure, I'm certain, it's better than experiencing this hell, this hell of, of repeat. It's like waking up the same day, knowing exactly what's gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure you've seen a fil like films like that where somebody's woken up and they've literally lived the same the same thing and they wake up again the next day and it's the same thing, same conversations, same people, same experiences. And I, I don't know any films, the names, but I know I've seen things like that when people wake up the same day and it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. And t that will only change if somebody makes that change. Otherwise, it will continue like that, okay? Um, uh, quite deep, but I said I was going to do a short one, but you know, if it, if it has to come out like that, that's what it is. All right, so generally, that's what's going on. Um, so I'll move on to Korea. I'll leave that out for a minute. Uh, Korea, Korea. What messages? You know, what's at the bottom of the deck of this one? Embracing the future. And what, what was I just speaking about? Um, I step into the future with an open heart. Okay, and I'll show you the, the vision. There is a guy there walking through a door. Okay. Towards his destiny. Towards something new, unknown. Okay, kind of like the fool. It's a bit like the fool energy there. Okay, uh, what messages can you tell me? about uh, too many turns around. Uh, I'll pick four messages, switch it up a little bit. That one wants to come out. Exceeding expectations. I saw into, e into excellence. Some of you guys are really pushing it in regards to um, your work. Things that you're doing, you could be switching things up also. Oh, nice. But three's come out, so we got four, the four that I wanted. Love this. I love this. Listen, breaking barriers, okay? I am expanding beyond limitations. Limitations, okay? I am, am, I, I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. And does this person, this person wants to be free. OK, and some of you guys, it's free or some of you. Sometimes we have to be the example to show people that actually that it, can, it is possible. Sometimes we can't always hold on to that person and not do things for ourselves. Sometimes we do have to be the example. OK, and one day they'll be like, oh, my God, if they can do it, that like, I can do it. OK, so sometimes you do have to let go a bit and and focus on you and not feel guilty about it, actually, because one day they'll see. Why, why it had to happen like that. I'm not sure who this person is I was picking up on. But anyways, we have renew, renewing your life, okay? Radiant vitality is filling my life. And we have here clutter. That person's pushing over a box off the edge of a cliff and it's clutter. Some of you guys are getting rid of some things in your life. Some of you guys, it could be uh, decluttering your mind, decluttering your home, decluttering energies around you okay clearing let's just say clearing decluttering clearing things around you 
things that overwhelm you, things that keep you stagnant, things that are not helpful, okay? Standing firm, okay? I am noble, brave, and strong, okay? You know, I might say that after affirmations every day. I am noble, brave, and strong, okay? So that's the energy you're bringing in regards to your career. Let's see, what deck do I want to use? I'll use gold, why not? I'll use the gold one for Korea. What could you tell me about Taurus's? I really hope, so I just, some of you guys know my headphones, my microphone didn't work the other day when I was doing a reading and it was <gasps> nearly half hour video. Bear with me two seconds. So I've got a new one. Can you let me know in the comments how the sound is, okay? Because for me, it'll probably sound fine, but I'm not sure how it will be on your end. So could you let me know in the comments how the sound has, be, has been in the video? It's quite up close to me, it's right there, so. Okay, so let's see. If it's not great, then I'll get, it's a different one. It's not the same one that I had before. So if it's not as good as the other one, then I'll, I'll get the, the previous one that I had. I'll just get that one again. Okay. Um, Taurus, what's happening in regards to their finances, please? Nine of Pentacles, that's looking good. Your money will improve. I feel like it will improve when you have this mindset. Yeah? Exceeding expectations, breaking barriers, renewing your life and standing firm. That is like someone really moving forward, okay? Uh, Nine of Pentacles, that's looking really good. Some of you guys are looking into becoming entrepreneurs. Some of you guys are looking into uh, doing something different. But Nine of Pentacles, what's next? Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you're getting there. You're very close, okay? Don't give up. Keep going. That person, this person, you know what? Probably they are smart with their, their finances. That is, that is being quite wise with your finances as well. But at the same time, being able to get luxurious things for yourself at some point, okay? Or working towards that. All right, tell me more, please. King of Pentacles. I just heard I can do it all by myself. So some of you guys are working alone or your aim is to work alone, okay? Um... Especially if you're the type that doesn't really want to work around people all the time. You don't look forward to going into the office and saying hi. If you're, you know, I'll be honest, I'm a bit like that. I, I didn't really want to see the same people every day and all that. I didn't like that. Um, so I totally understand. So some people love it. Some people going into work and seeing people and they love it. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. Uh, so I just heard I can do it all by myself. So some of you guys really are um, working towards something amazing. Keep going. Money's looking good. All right. Uh, get... Nine of swords and a fool. So there could be something that um, that is challenging you. Nine of swords and a fool, okay? So I'll put it a bit closer because I know because it's a bit reflective. It's a little bit funny. But the nine of swords and the fool, this is like, ooh, like say, for example, if you have a pitch, if you have to do a pitch about a business, a business, yeah? Um, and you're thinking, oh my God, like just like something like that, for example, that's something that would make me nervous as hell, okay? So there's something new or something uncomfortable that may be coming up, but just, just know is great some of you guys it's something to do is it i okay i just got something to do with that something that will help the community something that will bring people closer together so that could be in so many different ways that could be um creating creating a um what do they youth center it could be a, some kind of um way of supporting people different types of different groups of people okay Okay, there can be so many different things, but it's something to do something to do with a community or your community. Okay, say or say for example, if you're a um, say if you're a single mum or if if you've experienced certain things, and it could be helping those types of groups. Okay, anyways, not for all of you. Yeah, it's about you speaking. I, I knew it, and I, I knew it was something to do with speaking. 
even if it's like starting a char uh, cha charity, starting a channel or something like that, or so so something like that, something outside of your comfort zone. But people will love it, okay? They will love how you speak, okay? And you probably will be uh, well received, okay? I want to say, I want to say it like that. All right, so money's looking good. Money's looking good. The energy around your career is looking good. And if you have been feeling any kind of self-doubt, just listen to the messages because there's always an answer somewhere. There's a reason why you listen to this reading today. It's probably something that you needed to hear. So wherever you are on the journey, wherever you are, you know, on this timeline in life, just know that there's a reason you come to this reading. So if you are uh, lacking any of those, um, that energy of, do you know what, I can do it, I can take take those things on, okay? You have to stand firm in, in those new choices that you're doing. And that energy, that that general reading that I did, that may be some of you guys, maybe some of you guys um, needing to ch change something up in order to get to those things where things, and it becomes easier. It becomes easier. All you've got to do is have faith in yourself and believe. I promise you that, okay? And, and stay humble and all those things. There's many, there's, you know, there is a formula to it, but um, that's like some of the, the main points to it. Okay, so let's do love. Let's do love. Um, let's do love. I'm going to use this deck. Okay, let's do love. Um, what could you tell me? All right, what I'll do, what I'll do, because I would like to uh, cater to um, couples and singles. So rather than doing a longer reading for love, I'll just do a short reading for singles, short reading for couples, all right? So let's say 22 minutes, I'll do... Um, Couples first, okay? So couples, what could you tell me about the Taurus couples, please? Okay. So we had we have here couples, we have let go of control issues, okay? Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And we have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so maybe you guys, there could be things that come up in your relationship that bother you. And you know what? We're all human at the end of the day. Okay, so most things require, you know, clear communication. An understanding. Okay, so for for these two cards to come out, it's either I feel like it's challenging your relationship right now to communicate in a different way. And it's funny. It's funny actually. I was watching something yesterday on YouTube, and the lady I forgot her name. I don't actually first time I come come across her uh, her channel, and she mentioned she said rather than uh, criticizing or kind of moaning. Um, at your, at your partner, do things more like, oh, I love when you do this, rather than, oh, you don't do this anymore, or you never say this, or we never go here. Something needs to uh, change a bit, you know? So I feel like, because it, it changes the whole energy as well. So let's say more of, I love when you do this, or I appreciate when you say this, or I you make me feel so great when you X, Y, Z, okay? Um, so to, it's more like, um, what's the word? What's the word? Reinforce, uh, reinforcing, um, positive reinforcement. Thank you. Positive reinforcement, okay? Um, yeah, so a bit, let's just say uh, more practice, a bit more positive reinforcement and, and Especially if you've been with this person for a while, um, always remind, always remember um, kindness. Remember this person. This is a person. They may be annoying sometimes, and you love them, but remember, always remember your please, thank yous. All the I know it might sound simple, but sometimes in relationships we may forget that those little things and become complacent. So I feel like those things just remind this person that you appreciate them. And and if you're cross watcher, the same goes. Okay, the same goes. All right, 
I'm, I'm, it is going to be a short one. I'm not going to keep it overly long today. And I'm really hoping that the sound is going to work. I would, oh, I'm hoping that the sound works once I upload. So um, let's do singles. Okay, what well, could you tell me about singles, please? What could you tell me about singles, please? Really? I have to get one more. Yes, thank you. But yeah, I was just thinking, make it make sense. Some of you guys are saying the same thing uh, about a situation. Taurus, singles. Uh, we have here free yourself and I this card really comes out this card really comes out okay it's a unicorn and that is a rare that's a rarity right if you can see that okay yeah it's a unicorn that's so if you guys you put as somebody that you're dealing with like that <laughs> I need to stop with the jokes I'm gonna stop I'm so I'm being silly ignore me free yourself yeah it's time to take back control of your life, okay? Letting go of something, of of the uh, potential, letting go of what could have been. That will keep, oh, that will keep you, that will keep you uh, um, very much emotionally attached to, to something that's not meant for you for a very long time. Um, and naturally, we do do that. We, naturally, we do that. But it's, it's for us to decide, you know, do you know what, that's enough now. So I'm actually not helping myself. Um, you know, shoulda, woulda, couldas is what I'm getting as well. Free yourself. Should you know? Um, they should have done this. You know, or I would. I then I would have done this. Or they could have. Or I could have. Or less of that because it's just it's like a it's like a hamster wheel. So if you find yourself doing that, free yourself from that. Okay, and see the lessons. For example, actually, actually, how about this? Funny enough, actually, perfect example. So. Um, I'll, I'll use a personal example for, for myself, okay? So free yourself. So there's actually the guy who um, got me into tarot. It's his birthday today, okay? And even though it didn't work out between me and him, and it got quite to toxic, actually, a couple of years back, it got quite toxic. I still wish him love. I still wish him, and I still appreciate the connection because if I if I wouldn't have met him, I would not be standing here now. If I would not be sitting here doing this reading right now, if I have not, if I did not meet that guy who was interested in tarot, I never knew. I didn't even think tarot wasn't even a thing for me uh, three years ago. I promise you, it wasn't even a thing. I didn't look at didn't even know there was tarot YouTube. Nothing like that. I didn't know that didn't know it okay but if I if I hadn't have met him I wouldn't have been here so sometimes we meet people to uh for certain reasons okay and you're not always meant to be with them so figuring out that reason okay is helpful okay yes they may have hurt you and obviously understandable you're human you're meant to feel certain things but also understand that as well there's always a let there's always an answer in what you're feeling and what you're trying to um trying to trying to heal okay all right. Taurus, we have release your ex, okay? Release your ex. Um, oh, no, actually, this come out first, but it's come out first. I, I don't know how that got there. Uh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? I feel like, because this is a single reading, so whenever this card comes out in a reading like this, when it's not a coupled one, I would say, unless you're recently single... Uh, unless unless you unless it wasn't a very toxic relationship and you know that things can be worked out that's a different thing but this for me give your relationship a chance is and work on your past partnerships is about yourself the partnership and the love the partnership the love that you have with yourself okay understanding what's your what is keeping you from doing certain things as well okay so that could be take more time to uh work on yourself care for yourself it might be might not be right at the right time to connect with somebody on that level that you may uh desire but um things happen for a reason okay um and the last one is like i said before release your ex that she is looking so dramatic in this picture i can't the time has come to clear your energy she looks so dramatic it's like ah oh. 
<laughs> I can't. Yeah. Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. And I was speaking about that before, wasn't I? I said clear. It's about clearing things. Oh, yeah. Declutter. Clearing things out of your energy. So see how it all aligns? All right. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. New person. I'm going to do a new person reading very quickly. Like a couple minutes. Tell me about a new... For the people that are interested in a new person. You're getting a full, full reading today. All right. Ten of Wands. Release. Clear. Okay. So, okay. Tell me about the new person that you may meet. Um, I'm going to pull... F um, I'm going to do two... Two quick stories. I'll pull, I'll pull three cards for um, one person. So like, so like if you're talking to a few people, so just to kind of figure out who's who, okay, and what's likely to happen. So if Taurus is talking to somebody new right now, what are they like? Tell me what they're like. Um, okay. What What is, what's the most, uh, what's, how can I word this? What's the most promising connection? Jesus Christ. Okay, right, so the, okay, so I'm picking up on this energy of somebody, Taurus. If you're dating, if you're Taurus that's dating or talking to someone right now, I'm getting two energies. Okay, the first one, we've got Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. This person don't know their ass from their elbow. They don't know their ass from their elbow, okay? They're very confused. They can be moving slow because they want to keep the options open, okay? They're also going through a lot probably financially, emotionally, mentally, they can be going through a lot. So I would say don't even entertain that because that is definitely, you could, with this person, if you was to stick with this person, it's like, if your foot's on the ham, if one foot is on the hamster wheel and the other foot's on the ground, yeah, take the foot that's off the hamster wheel and walk away. Yeah, because that's what it'll be, a hamster wheel of just madness and confusion. So I wouldn't even bother with that person, okay? Or that type of energy, it could, some of you guys could be like, yeah, I just spoke to somebody like that where it was really slow and they weren't really getting back to me or they were kind of saying all these things, but I found out they have all these issues and it's just long, okay? Those types of energy, try and stay away from because we're not trying to fix people, okay? Um, we're not, we're not, yeah, we're not trying to fix people, okay? We, we're not, that's, it's not our goal to fix people actually, okay? Um... They have, we can show, we can show them certain things, but at the end of the day, it's up to them. And this person, yeah, let's just say it takes a village to, to yeah, no. All right, Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords and the Fool is a, if, honestly, it feels like somebody who may lie to get their way, may lie to, say for example, um, it's somebody who's almost like a bit manipulative, to, they will say what you want to make you go out with them. They, for, I'm getting the energy of somebody that might try and mirror you, mirror what you like, mirror what you're into, okay? I need to, I need a bit more with that person because the first one, don't even bother, it's a waste of time. That energy, it could be a person or the similar types of, types of people that you're connecting with, don't do it. If you want, if you want good mental health, don't do it, okay? Oh, this is why the, so this, the second one is a bit more complex, all right? The second one is a bit more complex. Now, the reason why this person may, um, what is the word? It's kind of like a facade they're, they're bringing when it comes to you. Uh, because when I pull two more cards, it, the, the star come out and the moon come out. And this lets me know that this person sees you as like up there. They see you as up there and they're thinking, I can't just bring myself to Taurus and they accept me. So they feel like they need to, you know, up their game. And I feel, just remind this person, I'm not sure if you're dealing with them right now or if it's somebody coming up, remind this person, be yourself. Because at some point, I, you know, there's no point because, you know, after a while that mask becomes heavy and you've got to, and you've got to let it go and it just slips, don't it? So be it time to be themselves. They feel the need to impress you. 
but the more they do that the more they sink into um like there's they kind of hold secrets and it feels like they what will end up happening i'll just i'll just i'll just i'll just tell you the whole story about how this can go what will end up happening if they keep giving you what they don't have whether it be emotionally uh, uh financially for example dates and stuff like that or coming to drive to pick you up and really that was the last 50 pounds or whatever 50 50 pounds yeah 50 pounds for petrol and they're broke on or for the rest of the month or something like that and they're in a bad mood they can't keep up with the facades they can't keep up with it so they'll either end up ghosting you giving you some kind of attitude pulling back their energy or just you know like okay i I can't keep this up anymore, it's embarrassing, I can't tell them why, because they think I'm this person, so be wary of someone like that as well, okay, be wary of somebody who can't, um, who, 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 who they can't um, keep this, they can't keep this act up, is really what I'm getting, they could, it's like they're making up there's someone that they're, that they're not, okay, I feel like there's a person who's telling you, you know what, you know what's interesting, let me tell you what's interesting. I know, for, I know damn well some of you, you're interested in group one because they were honest with you. Because this person saying, hey, you know, yeah, I might have been on, I, I used to smoke a lot or I used to do certain things. I used to engage in certain types of, you know, let's just say um, a certain lifestyle, okay? And I'm getting back on my feet and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out where I'm trying to go. And... Taurus, you will like this person because they are being honest with you and direct. But at the same time, this person is not ready to date somebody. Like, they're not ready to, like... If you're a Taurus that's ready to, like... Depends on what what age group of Taurus I'm speaking to right now. But for whatever you want... Let's just keep it, like, general. For whatever you're wanting in your life right now, really think about it. Are you ready to wait for this person? If you are fine okay but if you know that it's going to irritate you don't do it to yourself if you feel like you can't do holidays like you want to you can't go to certain places because they can't afford to and you may have to put your hand in your pocket quite more than uh, more so than not okay just think about all those things because i feel like the first person this group is more honest whoever this ten of ones knight of pentacles seven of cups is they're more honest but it's going to take them a longer time to figure their life out the second one is somebody who's more they i'll be honest with you they're fake they're fake so some of you guys aren't really gonna like them like that you're gonna pick up on them and this person's gonna kind of try to make you feel like because sometimes you'll just know you'll just know okay so somebody's gonna really try to impress you with things that they really don't have like that and then at some point they'll throw it back in your face that's the kind of person that is okay and it's going to make them feel bad about themselves because they feel like why do I have to do all this but they they they're the ones who did that so it's an issue this person's got underlying okay I'm going to do a third one I, I, I know I said two and I wasn't going to do a long reading and I really hope the the sound works oh my god I, I, anyways I'm going to do a third one tell me about a different energy that Tauruses may connect with Okay, I just heard that um, the cause was a, uh, I believe it was an Irish um, band back in the 90s. They, they were brothers and sisters. I just heard that song, I will run away with you. I will run away. I don't know if it was called that. I just saw the page of cups and the six of swords. Like, okay, tell me more. Some of you guys may find out that some of you guys may deal with somebody younger. Some of you guys, there's a younger energy here. Wow. Some of you guys may connect with this, with somebody is either they are young, like actually younger or their energy, their spirit is a very young, they're very youthful. 
they could be 60, 70. Like, for example, my neighbour, he's amazing. He's, he's like in his 70s. He's out every day. He dresses sharp. You know, he, looks, he always looks dressed very well. And he's out every day. Every day. Very active, you know. All, 40 years older than me. Fan, just as fantastic. Very, uh, uh, very um, uh, fit. Okay? It could be somebody like that who's very, who doesn't sit down all day. So there's somebody here that is, that's, oh, I actually like this better. I'm glad that I did this third one. I don't want to just leave you with all these cra crazy, because, you know, there's a lot of those people out there, the other two groups. There's a lot of people out there. I don't, you know, that's not all there is. There's a person with a young spirit. I forget about the younger in age or not. There's a person with a young spirit who wants to do things, they want to travel, regardless of their beliefs, because I feel like beliefs don't, what I want to say is don't worry about this person's beliefs, even if they say they're, um, even if they say that they don't believe in certain things, worry about their character, look at their character, because I think this person's a much nicer person for you, I'm getting a very chilled, relaxed person. It could be Sagittarius. I'll tell you the signs that I've got. We've got everything but Earth. So we've got Sagittarius. We've got fire, air and water. Somebody's going to ask you about getting away with them or they want to spend time with you. And it's time that you guys spend together. Even if it's you guys meeting for a coffee or something like that, or a little chit chat or something. I just saw two people sitting down at, um, on a bench with a flask or something. Even if it's something simple, the conversation between you, you feel like a kid with this person. The page of ones at the start and the, pa the page of cups is at the start and the page of ones is at the bottom. And this is like the energy between you guys. And you both are feeling like you guys want to, go away somewhere together, you want to be freed of something, you just want to up and go, so you could travel with this person, I do see you doing things with this person, and you feeling like, where's this person been, where has this person been, I'm glad that I did the last one, don't worry about the signs, what sign it can be, I'll tell you how you will know. When you speak to them and you look at them, it's like when you're listening to them, you understand them, you understand their soul, understand their soul. soul. You want to go, you feel safe going places with this person. Even if they even if you'd known them for like a month or so, or two months or something like not a long period of time depending on how old you are depends you know like you know even if it's a, even if it's a, for a short period of time you're going to have this connection with this person single tourists where they could say do you fancy driving 50 miles away let's go and check out this town this city this state whatever you know wherever you are in the world um because I'd really like to spend time with you. I want to see things with you. That's the kind of person they are. But you're going to feel comfortable with them. You're going to feel very at ease with this person. And you're going to feel... You're going to want to try things. Do random things that you've never done before. With this person. Because you want, you want to make memories with this person. very calming calm like however you are as a Taurus they it's like I want to say it's like they're hugging your heart it's something that could be a soulmate right there that is definitely soul soulmate energy that is definitely soulmate energy I love it all right I'm gonna leave it there let me know what group because I've, I've, I've done three three different types of energies let's just say the, the third one all day long is what I like all right anyways I'm gonna leave it there guys please like share subscribe if you'd like a personal reading all the information's in the description have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys